Hey, Park Bench viewers. Um, so you are in for a treat today. Um, as, as you know, uh, Lenox Hill is home for me and Celeste um, for many reasons. Um, but we are very fortunate that in our business, um, New York City and Brooklyn in actuality is our home because our home is where our clients are and where people need us and where people need us to sell um, their apartments or need us to help look so they can buy one, right? Um, I happen to call home to where we're standing right now, Hell's Kitchen. It is um, the theater capital of the world, you know. Um, the best musical theater comes from right here where I'm standing. And today, um, one of our Lenox Hill residents um, in Celeste's building, so Celeste's neighbor, um, Joni, um, she is going to chat with us a little bit about um, the AMT theater where she works. And I just happened to catch them on a day where they were hosting an international group um, of students from Guadalajara, Mexico. So um, you're really in for a treat today as we learn about just, you know, this really vibrant part of New York City, how special it is, how special it is to me, um, but how it impacts the rest of the world. So I hope you enjoy this one. <laughs> Hi everyone, Park Bench audience. This is Mateo here with Sotheby's. And um, I wanted to do something fun and special today. Um, as you know, Lenox Hill is our home. Um, however, New York City is really where we are, um, is our second home, let's say. Um, we transact Celeste and I all over Manhattan and Brooklyn. Um, today is going to be our first location outside of Lenox Hill, where Joan calls home, which I will get to in a moment. But where we are right now is in Hell's Kitchen. And it's a very special place because this is my home where I live. Um, and one of our claim to fame, besides having the best nightlife in the city, is having the privilege to have Broadway in our home, in our streets right here in Hell's Kitchen. The best theater in the world. It's right here in Hell's Kitchen. And speaking of the world, I wanted Joan to talk a little bit um, about her theater, um, where we are right now outside of AMT and how they partner with artists from all over the world that we are very lucky today to have visiting us right now. So take it away. Joe. It is super cool to have you here. And I love that we're sitting outside on chairs on a New York City street. West 45th way. Street. <laughs> yeah, and so this is actually my theater home and my home home is Lenox Hill. And I live in the same building as Celeste, so that's kind of cool. And literally, this is our theater home. This is the heart of theater in the entire world, as these folks behind me will attest to, and this amazing woman next to me. And literally right down the block, they're going to be seeing a show called Moulin Rouge, one of the top shows on Broadway right now. And if you walk down that way, there's literally glitter all over the street. After every show, there's glitter, which they will see why facts, later on. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> that's a little secret part of it. But AMT Theater is the brainchild of Tony Sportiello and Al, Albert M. Tapper. So AMT, Albert M. Tapper. I like to say it's almost Midtown Theater or something else. We could keep that term, keep going somehow with that term. Or all musical theater, which I get really annoyed with because I don't sing. So <laughs> everything that they do as a play turns into a musical and then I can't be in it anymore. But the reason that this came about was the pandemic hit and we couldn't go to the theater. And what's better than sitting next to someone and having the reaction of everyone around you? That's right. why I like movie theaters and and theater theaters and the reaction of who's on the stage directly they change in the moment they can't be the same every night they can do the same work each time but the performance will be different so there was something special about opening again and this is probably our sixth iteration of a theater in the 20 years that I'm working with Tony and Al Sharon is involved Julie is involved Tamara is involved Kelly's involved Brian's involved I'm gonna forget names Jack is involved Trevor's involved Spencer's involved and this woman sitting next to me is involved, Laura, and that's why we're sitting outside with the people you see around us. These amazing people are here, and I'm gonna let Lara tell you why. They came from Guadalajara, Mexico. I, I'm terrible with the rolling of the arts. Yo entiendo más que yo hablo, yo hablo un poquito español. Ever since I learned Russian, I can't speak Spanish anymore. But I'm gonna let Lara tell you a little yeah. bit about why this is so special, and then I'll tell you a little bit more about what we're doing in this theater in addition to what Lara's gonna tell you. Okay. Thank you, Joni, thank you. <laughs> 
Well, I wish I could call this place my home as well. <laughs> but no. Your second home. My second oh. home. Yeah, my home away from home. Mm -hmm. But uh, we're very excited to have these kids from Guadalajara, Mexico. <laughs> I will get that Viva soon. Yeah, you'll get that soon. Viva, yeah. We are actually very excited because uh, in our hometown, we don't get a lot of theater, but we have a lot of theater lovers. So we have people watching, you know, uh, YouTube videos and hearing uh, Broadway soundtracks and everything and whatnot. And we have actually a lot of musical theater schools down there, even though there's not a lot of theater. So what we're trying to do here is to teach these youngsters, <laughs> these young people, that dreams can be achieved no matter where you come from. Especially sure. now, uh, I think that's something the pandemic has taught us is that borders don't exist. A lot of people had to go back home and leave their offices and just start working from home. And a, lo a lot of people like myself, I got like another job working with a company overseas in Ukraine, mm -hmm. which is it was amazing. So it's something that we want to we want to share with the world that you don't need to be all the time in New York City mm -hmm. to accomplish your dreams of becoming a Broadway actor or just an, an actor in, in, in the Big Apple or maybe Hollywood or anywhere you want to do whatever you want to do. You, you can achieve it. So we want to teach this uh, this young people that are here behind us. Bienvenidos. <laughs> Bienvenidos. Yes. That dreams can come true, and that and I wanna I wanted them to experience what it's like to see Broadway shows, enough Broadway shows, and everything that goes through them. Because it's not about just watching beautiful shows and spectacular you know productions. It's about what goes behind the scenes, all of the preparations, Absolutely. all of the technical aspects yeah. of it. So that's what we want to imprint in the in their brains. And we're very excited to have them here this week and show them also the, the city because this is, a, this is the first time for most of them uh, here wow. in the city. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I love it. Well, you know, it, your point was really well made with regards to what goes on behind the scenes. Most of us don't ever get to be in front of the scene. We're behind the scenes doing what we're doing. I'm executive producer and I'm in charge of marketing, the social media, the branding of the company. You're handling a lot of the international program globally, not just with Mexico, with Guadalajara and New York, but globally and bringing students in. We've got all aspects of that happening. Tamara just gave a whole talk on the lights and the sound and how a theater runs from behind the scenes. Julia and Sharon are in charge of the operation the contracts, the day-to-day -day grind of how do we keep the lights on, what do we do if something happens, who's the fire guard, things like that that people don't think about when they think of a Broadway show, but these are things that go and happen behind the scenes. And we are an yeah. official off-Broadway house, <laughs> proud to say we are 99 seats, you have to be between 99 and 499 in New York to be an off-Broadway house. Broadway starts at 500. We're not quite there. Maybe if we take a few buildings over. One of these days we will be. I know a guy that can help with that. Yeah, they, exactly. There you go. I wanted to see if we could throw it to mm -hmm. some of them to tell us what they're going to be doing and what a student exchange like this is like coming to New York. Absolutely, because yeah. you all have, I know with Sotheby's, you have clients from all over the world yes. coming to New York, buying second or first properties. Do, yeah. And that exchange happens all over yeah, the place. Yeah, and I think especially in a neighborhood like this um, what makes it very special um, you know to go back to what you were saying Laura is I think you know um, you can achieve your dreams wherever you are mm -hmm. and where should those dreams really ignite and flourish yeah. you know I don't think it's a coincidence here in Hell's Kitchen that you know as a community this is this is part of who we are you know um, you know my barber will tell me about having uh, who's to, your barber uh, <laughs> right here at Trims on 9th Avenue oh, okay because we, we partnered up with Steve he's giving us a gift certificate for our raffle I, I like Hell's that. Kitchen Barbers well, mine will have to make um, you know we'll make a call there um, you go. to the theater if they have to you know or the the um, you know the diner on the corner um, you know yeah. making sure that there's, there's food ready for when you know the shows are out so yep. it's just part of who we are here um, whether you know tourists come you know from all over having their dinner um, before or after the show yeah. to having you know the, 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 the crews and the actors it's just part of you know who we are here so I think it's something we don't take for granted it's that mix of the locals that are really wanting to support this to people coming to visit yep. so it's just one of those fun places where we love having the tourists you know we love having the actors um, I so love great the mix. Yeah. yeah so speaking of you know tourist people not necessarily tourists because they're working so people <laughs> from abroad let's hear a little bit of what they have to say we'd love to Who hear wants it first? 
Don't make me don't pick. Be shy. <laughs> don't be shy. It's up. It's up for grabs. There we go. Well, hi. I'm Marianne, and we're pretty excited to be here. We're a group of people that all have the same dream. And first of all, most important, we want to thank all the people that helped us get here today. Mm -hmm. And we're pretty anxious to see what would happen. And we principally came here to, to learn, to... <laughs> you know, you're on New York The, the New York experience. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the new year experience part right? of it. Yep. Yes. Exactly. Yep. Next thing Roll with it. Fire engine or <laughs> so we're pretty excited because we came here to learn. We came here pretty happy because I know it's a dream that we have always had. So and we want to learn a lot of what we want to make in the future. Okay. And we're pretty happy to be here. And I think the most important of all is to have fun mm -hmm. and give the best yeah. of us. Yeah. 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 Like that. Always love. I love it. <laughs> It's incredible how we are here, like literally in New York, with our family. We are like very excited, mm -hmm. and it's so cool that we get like to get this opportunity mm -hmm. because it's not not something like everyone can get. So it's like a one in a million experience, yeah. and it's so awesome to be here with all the people I love. So I can start like building up the walls, and so I can have a very big dream sometimes. And yeah. I just, yeah. we are a very yeah. family. I went on a, an exchange <laughs> when I was in high school. I went to Chautauqua, <laughs> Wisconsin, yeah. and did a cultural yeah. exchange with a small town, a dairy farm town in yep. Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. I did one in England one year. I mean, it's it's all about, like, be, if we can do more friendship, like we talked about this when we were first starting to bring yes. um, sessions and all those oh, shows, yeah. I know, to Mexico. It's all about that and then it's all about friendship and when you're friends and you start out that way, Definitely. you can't be yeah. enemies. Yeah, you yeah. can yeah. just make totally. everything in love. Totally, totally. Yeah. Yeah. Especially starting this young, it's incredible yeah. how we can yeah. be like here doing classes with counting on incredible you Broadway yes, we'll say, we're going to save you a spot in some future shows okay exactly. <laughs> yes. exactly. you better for be us. back for <laughs> I want to go with them oh. yeah, go ahead, go ahead. I mean just like Mariana and Ale said this is a really incredible opportunity that not a lot of people get to have mm -hmm. and getting to be here to be learning um, and erase borders and being here with my friends some people I've been knowing for months probably years and I've created a really good bond with and I think that's something I love also about theater that it mm -hmm. gets people together definitely and creates like this bond that's why I love it so much and um, getting to learn more about it it's just I mean and with this amazing people I mean thank you so much for everything Aww. you've yeah, done for us cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I mean I this it. is all happening just because of you and I'm really grateful for that Oh, God. We're happy to have I'm gonna you. Cry. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Thank, Thank you. you for the opportunity yeah. to do this today. Do you want to see I the think theater? I think we're going to go inside now. We're going to take you all on a, a tour of the theater. You can actually check out the outside a little bit. Moulin Rouge mm -hmm. is that way mm -hmm. on 45th towards 8th. That's 9th. We're right on West 45th Street, one of the busiest streets in New York. Yeah. Restaurant Row is one, block, one block over. One block behind us. Let's go inside.